Hello everybody, it is me, Marina Martinez Bateman. I am the CEO of New Coyote Consulting. We are an equity and communications consulting firm here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, every Tuesday now, I do these updates from my office. It, please ignore my hair, I've just been sort of pulling on it. I'm very happy to see how many people are excited to continue working in the ways and sort of like the radical ways that they developed during COVID. I'm also just sort of generally sad for the people whose employers have tried to like go back to normal. I feel like that's a really destructive idea and fantasy that, um, that there was a normal to begin with. And I also feel like I see a lot of organizations losing really good people over this fantasy that there is a normal to go back to and that that was actually a good time for all of us. And what is happening is those really good people who have just skilled up and skilled up and skilled up over all of the challenges of COVID and every other thing are realizing that they want different and more and better for themselves and for their families. And they're just going off and starting their own things or they're investing all that talent in organizations that are like-minded. And I feel like in five to 10 years, we are gonna have an incredible boom of organizations that are explicitly anti-racist, anti-capitalist, pro-people who are doing incredible things because when you step out of this sort of capitalist delusion that more work, more hours, more labor, more exploitation means more and better for most people, that lie, when you step out of that lie and go into this world where work and commerce don't have to be exploitative, and that we can carve out these little pockets of liberation within this larger exploitative system that we can then sort of make bigger and bigger and bigger through our prosperity. When we do that, things don't go the way you're used to them going. They go faster. It gets bigger. Like when we are sort of creating new markets and moving into them, we don't yet know how how they move, right? And so we can really jam on some shit and get a bunch of stuff done and make a lot of change in a short amount of time um, because the industry is so stagnant and because the industry is so focused on exploitation, we have a lot of room to create and innovate and make mistakes and recover and do better and over in these stagnant industries that are being run the same way they've always been run, that's not happening. And the people who are doing that are not being welcomed there and they're being pushed out. And now we have this entire pool of professionals who know how to do business in an entirely different way, who are ready to invest in it. And I'm just, I'm 2024, I'm, I'm never, ever, ever going to say that a year is going to be my year again, because thank you, 2020, but I'm really looking at 2024 with a lot of hope and a lot of joy and a lot of, like, being prepared for a lot of movement and, like, maybe some weird shit to happen. So, uh, if you haven't had lunch, have lunch, have a walk, have a weekend, don't work for free. I will see you next week.